The greatest PvPer, King of 300 Ping, the Winky Splinky Man, the realest Grimmer ever, a PvPer turned Femboy, and the man addressed by four letters. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Valagus here back with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about the YouTuber tournament. Now, first things first, I just want to clarify this tournament will be Battle Royale, and no prior builds will be allowed in the server we actually fight in. It's basically gonna be Fortnite, but Deep Woken. Now that that's out of the way, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of hype around this tournament because there's a lot of unfamiliar faces in this tournament compared to the last one. Now I don't know why many YouTubers haven't made a video about it yet, but I guess I decided to take the initiative to make a video about who will win. So if you guys did know, Nano Prodigy was actually the first place winner in the last tournament, and with that he received his old Lightborn he originally had and a Railblade. So I guess I can understand the Sigma on why a lot of people believe that Nano Prodigy will win this one. And not only that, I don't know how this happened, but Nano Prodigy and Agamatsu ended up on the same team. And if you guys didn't know, the way that the teams were selected were completely randomized. Or so that's what we've been told. Now me personally, I'm on a team with Supa. And by the way, Supa, happy LGBTQ plus month for all my people who uh, stand with that. I know I do. I believe in equality. But back on topic, a lot of people think that Agamatsu and Nano Prodigy are going to take the first place prize. Now, I'm not saying they won't, but allow me to introduce some points you have to take into consideration. This is Fortnite. Now, Fortnite players don't have to be the best in the world to take the victory royale. Super even asked me this personally if he thought we would win, and I told him straight up. I kept it real. I believe this tournament will be 30% skill based and 70% luck based. Now I'm saying this because this is how I think the game mode is going to work out. Everybody will spawn on the world surfing in the air, rising in the sky. We will then be dropped with our gliders onto Lower Aresia Island, or it could be the whole Luminant, who knows. I believe that everyone will have the same stat points, damage wise and health wise, but there will be random chests around the map. Now in these random chests I believe there will be mantras, so you could find an ice lance or you could find a new metal mantra. So I do not think stats will be in place in this tournament. You could have any mantra and do the same amount of damage as everybody else. At least that's what I believe, don't take my word for it. So with that being said, this is why I believe that the tournament will be luck based more than skill. Now it's quite obvious that some players in this tournament are a lot better than others, but we have a month to prepare. Someone's skill level can change a lot in a month. And after being forced to stay up until 4 in the morning with Supa, my skill level increased drastically. So I can't really say who will win, but these are the teams that I'm kind of looking out for. Vert and Blazer Blue, Febian and the Real Punchy, Truly Inu and Vortex, Burbingish and Fallen, and Cryptic and I don't know how to say his name. Now you might be wondering why I only said these names, and this is because the YouTubers actually have a secret server that they can play in together to avoid stream snipers. Everybody on this list that I didn't name is most likely I've never seen them play before. And I think the players we should really worry about are the ones who are moving in silence. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think. That's it for the king, and the king will not sign out. All hail Valakus.